Hello everyone, it's Claudette and I'm back with the first look for March 15th new release and we have this month two photopolymer stamp set. They do have coordinating dies that are sold separately and one red rubber stamp. Um, so let's get to it. The first one is called I Love Mom and this one is a set for mom. Um, not only is this good for Mother's Day, but you could also use it for Mother's Birthday. Um, and it has one, two, three, four, five sentiments and one, two, seven, seven icons or seven images. One, two, three, four, sorry, nine, ten. I can't count. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the mom set. And these are the dies, coordinating dies. If you have not used these dies or any dies, um, they are perfect, especially when you don't want a fussy cut. They are a big time saver, and I highly recommend them if you fussy cut all your stamp images because they just make everything go so much faster. And then um, for our next stamp set, it is I Love Dad, and you guessed it, it's for dads and for both Father's Day and your dad's birthday. So this one is perfect. My dad is a big golfer, so I loved this when I um, opened up my package and saw this because it would be a perfect um, image for his Father's Day card. So, we've got all that. Okay, and this one also comes with a coordinating die. Um, well, it doesn't come with it, but it has a coordinating die. Um, so, yeah. And, um, once again, if you're new to our channel and new to the, um, uh, the dies, all you have to do is just move them back and forth. And there you go. And for the smaller pieces, I recommend a wire cutter that you could get at uh, Walmart, Joann's, Michael's. Um, they're super inexpensive, so um, yeah, for, for intricate cuts like this, if you can see it. Okay, so that is the matching die for the Father I Love Dad. And then we have one red rubber. Mon Ami Anya. Super cute. And um, once again, I'm going to show you how to cut it for those new to stamping or new to the greeting farm. Um, all you do is take your stamp scissors. I use this one. I've said before, this is from Stampin' Up. There's also a Tim Holtz one, um, but this is the one I like to use and all you do is just cut around the image um, I like to get close to the edges of the image personal preference um, and there you go it's not that hard There you go. Once again, these are all available March 15th. Um, hopefully you can snag yourself some or all. And show us what you create. We'd love seeing what you create. We'd like to post them on Instagram if we see them. Tag us, hashtag the Green Farm Stamps or the Greeting Farm. And um, yeah, we hope you enjoy this preview for this first look. Hope you're all doing well. Thumbs up. Leave us a comment or question down below, and we'll try and answer it as soon as we can. Thanks. Bye.